Okay, now that the circuits are done um, and our heart rate's up, we now need to bring it back down uh, with a cool down um, where we're just going to do some stretches and keep our legs in one piece. So we'll start from the head and work our way down to the toes. Um, so first up, gently move your neck from side to side. Do that a couple times. It's actually quite relaxing. And so we've done that and move into the arms. So I'll bring one arm over and stretch it up and bring it across. And you should feel this here. On the other side. And the next, bring the arm across. Feel it all along there, especially after the press ups. And the other side. I just like to do some arm swings. Oh, guys. Oh my gosh, you can hear that cracking. Oh. Um, and next, we're going to try and stretch out the stomach with the obliques. Stretch over. Almost follow your arm around. And back across. The other side. And now I'll head to the floor. I'm going to aim to stretch the bottom half of our stomach. The further stretch you can look over your shoulder. To go deeper. And after that, this was downward dog. Yeah. Stretches the cards in the back, I think. And from here, we're going to a, almost a lunge position. One knee up and then you lean forward to get the hip flexors. That hurts. And then from here, you can go the opposite direction. You can even bring your toes in for a better stretch out. And you can feel this in the hamstring and the back of the knee. And there's a nerve in the back of the knee that always gets tight and causes injuries. So you want to stretch that out. Swap to the other side. And lean in as far as you can. If you want a further stretch, you can hit your head back. Into the hamstring stretch. Lift the toe up. Now from this lunge position, lift the back of the knee. Oh, she's going to fall and hold. You can hold on to something if you can. This will stretch the hips and also into the quads. You hold that there for a couple of seconds. And gently put that back down and go to the other one. Hold for around 10 seconds maybe. Once that one's done, we're going to stretch the groin area. Put your legs almost like a triangle shape. The closer you can lean into you, the better stretch you'll get. And if you want more, you can lean forward. Hold that there for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and release. And we'll go. Legs out, lunge into the hamstring stretch, more at the top of the hamstring. And swap over. And our last stretch of today, stretching out the glutes. It's called the pigeon stretch. You bring your leg up, almost you try and get it 90 degrees, but that's very hard to do and almost sit into the middle. And you should feel it around the glute area in the hip. And if you want a further stretch, you can go down. And hold it there for 10 seconds. Two, 
two, one, and swap. one and we are done Three by 500 off seven minutes and five minutes. It's actually the most painful session, but it's really good because I know if I run that session well, then I'm in good shape. When we do hill, hill reps, it's like 90, 60, 30 or something. Something like that and it's absolute hell. I'm probably a massive, I'd say one of my biggest influences is my dad because he's always been a person that um, has always said to me like if you want something you, just got, you can go and do it, you just got to work hard for it so and he really believes in me so I'd say yeah, my, my parents definitely influence you in that aspect and they like to sit back and watch. Um, I'd say it's good to have friends that understand what you do and that they have the same aspirations um, and we kind of use it to motivate each other because at the minute we're all on different paths doing different things, some are injured, some are not, some are coming back, some are doing well um, so I think it's good to just have that environment of understanding um, and at the same time we can not talk about athletics and go out and have fun. Sweated. Probably if I've been injured on the bike, but what bike? What bike session get you absolutely dripping? I'd be in the army. Um, when I was 16, I wanted to go into the army, but I decided it probably wasn't the right direction with athletics, so I didn't, but yeah, I think I wouldn't have come to university, I wouldn't have gone to college, I think I'd have been in the army.